Good morning, everybody. I am Miss Blessed to be a blessing, and this is my reading for my fire signs. Before I get into your reading, please take a moment to like and subscribe to my channel. Also, press the bell so you will get notifications when I put up other videos. So, let's get into your reading, fire signs. The first card that came out for you is the Seven of Cups. So, this is telling me that you have plenty of options here. And I also see that you will either be having a new lover's relationship or somebody loves you here. The magician is coming up next, so this is how you are manifesting a whole lot of things in your life. So you could be manifesting a new lover's relationship to come in. You could be manifesting, because as I look over your reading, it's about money. So you've been manifesting a lot of finances to come into your realm also. The Three of Cups here talks about celebrations. So some of you need to get out and celebrate. Some of you need to spend more time with your friends. This Nine of Swords card came out. So some of you are feeling guilty. Or somebody you're dealing with is feeling guilty in regards to a situation. They're feeling guilty about something that they did to somebody. They're feeling angry. Um, anguish, I'm sorry. And regret concerning the situation. This woman is actually paralyzed by fear and doubt. And she's unable to move forward. So, that's what some of you are dealing with. You have the Queen of Swords here. And the Queen of Swords woman is someone who is stern, but she's feminine. And she rules with her head, not her heart. Yet she is not without compassion. She is wise and fair and honest and forthright. She's ready for battle when necessary. Though she, though she prefer <laughs> to keep matters civilized. So maybe this is you. I mean, maybe you feel good to, about a situation and you're taking on the Queen of Swords energy. But with the Eight of Cups coming up, you're going to leave a situation here. You're going to leave either some people, places, or things behind. The next card that coming for you is the Knight of Pentacles. Yes, so when the Knight of Pentacles shows up in a reading, it basically talks about this this knight is actually a cautious individual. Somebody's been cautious and thoughtful and hardworking. This knight can be stubborn with an all work and no play attitude. Although he's th he's not that romantic. Uh, he's the least romantic of the knights, at least. Um, his stability and reliability make him a loyal and trustworthy partner. So this could be somebody who wants to deal with you. Then, right coming up right behind it, you have the King of Pentacles. When the King of Pentacles comes into the reading, it talks about prosperity, success, ambition, and security. So the this king is reliable and generous skillful. So I said that you're going you're manifesting a whole lot of people in your lives as well as job opportunities too. Along with love. See? You have to look at the way cards cor correlate to the other one. The lovers is here and then you have these two. The Knight of Pentacles and you have this um King of Pentacles. So you've manifested these people to come into your world here you have the five of swords so somebody feels very very betrayed here mm -hmm. somebody done did something to somebody as you can see on this car you see the man walking away and he she have two stars sticking out her back so basically the five of swords represents betrayal or someone who cheats or uses an unfair advantage to win so what you have to do is you must look out for yourself here and try to claim what is rightfully yours. Yet hurting others in our own self-interest will lead to a shadow victory here. Okay, so some of you are going to be like the fool and jump out and do something new here. Which is going to cause a whole lot of, I think it's a good thing because you have the Ace of Pentacles that's coming up right behind it. This is like new beginnings and things of that sort with the Ace of Pentacles. It's a good card. 
It signifies having the means to reach a goal or to manifest your dreams. It represents the ability to attract what you need in order to prosper while remaining grounded and down to earth. And this is important too, that you have to be trustworthy and also be reliable here. Because you are a person that like to help people. With the moon card coming up behind us, there's going to be a lot of um, things that are going to be revealed to you here. There's some secrets that you're not aware of. But it's going to come to the light here because the hermit card is right behind it. I think that you're aware of it because you're very into two fire signs. And you've been thinking about a situation here with this hermit card. Let me see if I can get it to focus for you guys. Okay the hermit card so you've been thinking a lot about a situation that you're going to end because you have the death card here the death card is an ending card so it's going to be ending up something but like i said once there's an ending there's always a new beginning but you're following your intuition here about something and something you've worked extremely hard on extremely hard for you've been waiting for it's going to come to you because you have the three of wands here and also, there's a Queen of Cups in your midst. This is a water sign woman. Could be a Scorpio, a Pisces, or a um, Cancer woman. So once again, like I said, you have options here. Probably in the lowest department, because you've been manifesting a lot of people to come into your life. You can celebrate at this time. But some of you are feeling guilty and concerned to a situation, probably a relationship and something that had you dealt with somebody and something happened. Maybe you said some harsh words or something like that. And you took on this queen of swords um, energy and you told them off. So you're going to be leaving some things behind as well. But like I said, you drew, you drew in this knight of pentacles. And you also drew in this king of pentacles. But yet you feel betrayed by somebody betrayed you here. And what the full card is, you, you want a new beginning. You want something new. So it's like with the Ace of Pentacles, this can happen for you. Because you have the means. You already know how to manifest fire signs. The Moon card is something you already... Things are already illuminated for you. So you already know. But yet there's some secrets that will still come to life for you. And you've been thinking extremely hard about leaving a situation. And there will be a death to a situation. There will be a complete ending. But also a new beginning. So follow your intuition in regards to anything concerning your life. Here's what I'm saying. And also with the three of wands. Whatever you've been waiting for to come in. It's going to come in. And be careful. Um, I'll be watchful for a Queen of Cups woman, but this is a, could be a good woman, but it depends. Because if it's a Scorpio, y'all better look out. All right, water sign, water sign, all right, fire sign. This is your reading. Please take a moment to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so very much.